Okay, good. All right, here we have five parentheses. Three plus Z. And I like to put a bar on this Z so it doesn't look like a two or get confused with a two. Minus in the parentheses again. Eight Z. Plus nine. Close it up. Equals negative four <coughs> z. Okay. What do we do? Distribute. Yeah, we got to distribute that five. So distribute the five. And what about this negative? Distribute the negative, right? If we make the minus sign a plus, change the signs of everything inside. It's like distributing a negative one, right? So what you're doing here is you're oh, it's a distributing the okay. negative. Okay. Yeah, so it's like negative times one. negative. So it's negative times one. negative is a positive. So yeah, you're distributing negative one. Okay, gotcha. So um, you could do it that way or you could just make the minus sign a plus. And then you're distributing that negative inside. Okay? And so now you distribute the five combined like terms. Alright? So this would be five times three. This 15. Plus, yeah, because now it's five times z, so that's 5z, right? Mm -hmm. And then you got, you don't have to put plus a minus, you can just put a minus. 8z, and again, you don't have to put plus or minus, you just put minus 9 equals to negative 4z. Okay, so you're going to combine the z's, right? You're going to combine these two, and you're going to combine these two. All right, so go ahead and, and do that. Go ahead and work the rest of that out. So you could have done it that way. You could have said 15 minus 9 like that, and then do another step. You know what I mean? You, I mean, you could have. You didn't have to, but you could have. Then that would have been, you could have either done like that, and then 6 minus 3z equals to negative 4z like that. All right, now in this case, if you apply, if you add the 4z, that will make the z's positive. But that makes that a zero. You could do that. That's not a problem. Or let's try to see what happens when we have a negative. Okay, and this, this is a good time to do that. So we're going to go ahead and apply 3z because we've got to get the z's together. So that'll be 6 equals to what? Negative 1z. 
Now, problem here. This negative, this Z right here, is not completely isolated because of the negative. You can think of this like a negative 1. All right. So we can do what we call multiply or divide by negative 1. So if we, let's say we put a 1 there. Okay. So now we've got to divide. You can either multiply or divide both sides by negative 1. I like the multi I like to divide. That way it means the same, same each time. And so you got negative divided by negative is what? Positive, right? Six, positive six divided by negative one is a negative six. And uh, we're finished with that. Okay, questions with that? You can either do it that way or add the four and zero both sides, but then you got a zero. And then and look at the other way, which is fine. <clears throat> okay, any questions with that so far? Let's go back to the slides. suspension bridge in North America. Golden Gate is 60 feet shorter than the Barrazzo Barrazzano Narrows Bridge. If the length of the bridge is m feet, express the length of the Golden Gate Bridge as an algebraic expression. Okay, so we got the Golden Gate Bridge is 60 feet shorter if we use M as the length of the bridge in New York City, and the bridge in Golden Gate is 60 feet shorter, how would we write that algebraic expression for the Golden Gate Bridge? M minus 60, right, because it's 60 feet shorter, so we're going to be subtracting 60. Okay. And so, um, kind of hard to see that. So, okay, that's a different one. And so, your answer here is m minus sixty. Let me undo that so you can see that better. M minus sixty. Okay, Golden Creek Bridge. So that's a, how you would express that. Uh, problem algebraically. Okay? Questions with that? Alright? And so the last one, <clears throat> the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Express the third angle in terms of x. If the first angle is x, the second angle is 3x plus 10. Okay, all right, so let's look at that, x and 3x plus 10. So here's here's our triangle, first angle, second, third. First angle is x. The second angle is 3x plus 10. But we don't know what the third one is. But we do know that the first angle plus the second angle plus the third angle equals what? How many? Uh, 180. 180, right. Okay. So we take first angle plus the second angle, 3x plus 10, plus, we don't know what the third angle is, so we'll just call it third, okay? 
figure out what that third angle is in terms of x. Okay? So now we solved, right? x plus 3x, what's that going to be? 4x. 4x plus 10 um, plus our third angle equals 218. All right, now what? We're trying to figure out what our third angle is in terms of x. When we're writing that out, would, would we just give it another variable, like a y or a z? Yeah, you could, yeah. Yeah. Let's, and we could do that. We'll call this z. Okay. So we'll replace the third with z. All right. And so we're going to solve. trying to isolate that z, okay? So that means we got to get everything else over to the other side except for the z. So what are we going to do with the 10? Combine it with the 180. Right, and so how do we do that? Subtract. Minus. Because this is a positive 10, right? We want to get that to go to 0, so we got to apply the opposite. So that's 4x. And so the tens go to zero, right? Plus z equals to one, what? Yeah, one seven. One seven, right. Okay, but the z's not isolated completely yet, right? We gotta try to get that z by itself one more time, right? So that means we gotta do something with this four x here. All right, so what, we gotta get that over. So what do we do with that? Okay. Yeah, minus 4x. Minus 4x. And so we've got z equals to 170. Minus 4x. And that's our answer. Okay? Questions with that? So our third angle terms of x is 170 minus 4x. Or you could also say negative 4x plus 170. So you could have also said negative 4x plus 170. Either way, as long as the signs are right, you know, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> and normally, the variable, it's proper to put the variable first. Okay. Questions with that? Okay. Uh, we're going to uh, take a 10 minute break, and when we come back, we'll go ahead and do the next lesson. And um, from there, we'll have a uh, short.